Time has come to talk about archery, guys. Finally, we have covered other skill, other weapon skills that you train with NPCs. Now it's time to cover archery, which is totally different archery business. Archery in this era is a little bit iffy, and it's nowhere near what you recall from from, from later eras, where it was actually kind of useful. So we have to tell you, I have to tell you that archery to make a successful hit, you have to stand still until the arrow is the target. If you move before that, it will always be a miss. There is a delay in the equip. I mean, if you equip the bow, okay, you cannot insta hit like the heli. So I equip the bow. There's no insta hit. Let's let's take a look at this, for instance. If I shoot an arrow at this ship and I move, you see I always miss. Stand still, shoot, miss. I had to stand still to hit. There you go. Now, if I unequip the bow and equip the bow again, see, takes a while before I can hit. A, I can I can shoot an arrow. Okay. Because this is not insta hit. It's the only weapon that is not insta hit. So if the bow, it's depending on your decks. So basically, if you have, if you have the bow with like two seconds delay, you keep the bow, and you have to wait two seconds before it shoots. The this guy, for instance, the heavy crossbow, you have to wait like ten seconds. I don't know, six seconds, but it's very long. So you gotta stand still. Shoot the arrow or the crossbow bolt, wait till it hits the target, okay, and then you can move. If you move before, it's always a miss. Now, also, let's talk about range, okay. Range, if we have bows, we have 10, 10 tiles range, should be 10 tiles range, okay. That's side of the ship. We have one tile, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's take a look. Ten tiles, come on. That's it. Okay, eleven tiles. Too far away. All right. So it's ten tiles with the bow, whereas with a crossbow, ten tiles you will not hit. See, nine tiles you will not hit. Eight tiles. Eight tiles. Okay. See how long it took to for the crossbow to hit, and this is just a regular crossbow. If it was a heavy crossbow, it would have been a lot, a lot longer. Now, archery, unlike you know the weapons, the like accurate weapon or supremely accurate, having like plus 25 dex, um, tactic bonus. Well, archery is not like that. Archery, if you have modifiers, for instance, this is. An eminently accurate heavy crossbow vanquishing. An eminently accurate it should mean plus 20, I guess, plus 20 tactics. It's not so. See? Or maybe it was plus 15. Okay, plus 15. It gives you 13.9 archery. Okay? And if you if you have basically accurate, it gives you like plus 4. Um, the um, surpassingly accurate is like plus 9. This is like plus 14, uh, then you have the, um, what is this, uh, eminent, the exceedingly accurate is like plus 18, and the supremely accurate is like plus 23 archery. So actually, it doesn't increase the damage, but surely it increases the hit chances, because the hit chances is just a skill. The attacker skill, archery in this case, versus the defender skill, Maybe wrestling, it may be swords if he's a kid uh, with a sword, maybe mace fighting if he has a wand or he has a mace weapon. So, normally you have 50% chance if you have GM versus GM, but you, if you have 123 versus GM, it's slightly more than 50% chance to hit and chance of not being hit. Now, that being said, what is archer used for in this era? It is really not used for field PvP because it is kind of impractical. It is not used for for duels or for 1v1. It is used in PVM. Okay, basically, I've seen it used. If you see Grofus Das Britannia channel, he is, he is using archery, like he, provoking, he is provoking stuff. 
Okay, and he is using archery to finish them off. Some others I've seen using barred archers, and yeah, it can be effective, but it's more like yeah, like sort of role playing more than more than real more than real use of it. Okay, see how long it takes. And remember, you don't have to move because if you move. Yay, miss. 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 I stood still and I hit. You can use archery. Sometimes I've seen Fisher with archery because maybe they just to deal with the random water elemental or to deal with the random PK, I don't know, or to, to deal with the random uh, sea serpent. But again, it's more role playing than real, being real effective. What I've seen it used in the best use of archery is archer bots. So basically, you have a stack of archers. You have one, you have two, you have three. You're allowed three accounts. So basically, let's imagine, let's imagine you're playing your main account, and your main account, you I don't know, you're maybe farming Death Star, and you have two of your archers standing outside Death Star. Okay, and you want to bait a PK, so your archers will be will be outside Death Star on an auto-attack macro, okay, auto-attack red, red macro, so basically you are baiting the PK, you're running outside Death Star, the PK gets outside Death Star with you to, to take the kill, and the two archer bots shoot at him instantly, okay? That might be the case. I, I will show you, I will show you a video at the end of this, of the usage of archer bots. But this is the only use. Some people have been using them at events, maybe, you know, stealth archers. Stealth archers at events, so you, you, you stay there hidden at the event, you wait for somebody to be at low health, and boom, you shoot them, and maybe you can insta-kill insta, insta -kill them, because these babies, I mean, the heavy, heavy crossbow, heavy crossbows, especially the charged ones, they can do like 50 damage sometimes, if you have anatomy <coughs> and tactics, so that's, that's quite a lot. Now, how do you train archery? Now, archery is a little bit difficult to train <coughs> because, you see, it deals very lo a, a, a lot of damage. Archery deals a lot of damage. So if you do it with an NPC, it's very likely that you're going to kill the NPC. And you have also another problem. <coughs> Sorry for my back. Archery consumes arrows. Archery consumes arrows. And... Uh, you're gonna need 15k, 15k arrows basically to to raise archery, realistically, and you wanna scavenge them. Okay, realistically you wanna scavenge them. Otherwise you're gonna lose a lot of arrows. You're gonna consume more. And in this era, you have a chance of gaining a, a, a weapon skill if you hit. If you miss, you have no chance of gaining uh, gaining a skill. So the problem with archery is that when you start very low, if you don't start with 50 archery, which I recommend because it consumes resources, if you start with like 30 archery bought from NPCs and you train archery at, um, <coughs> train archery at, I believe, Skara Rangers, the Rangers outside Skara, okay, across the, across the, yeah, where you have to say cross on the boat to go on the other side, okay, in mainland with uh, in uh, Ghost Roads. If you, uh, if you train to 30 and you use a plain bow to train archery, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna hit nothing. And if you're gonna hit nothing, you're gonna gain nothing. So if you train from 30, my advice is to use a plain bow, like a supremely accurate bow or an uh, eminently or an exceedingly accurate bow to, to get you in the range of the 50 archery. With 50 archery, you can start gaining something. And if you start gaining something, you can raise archery and eventually get rid of that bow and use a plain bow. So, so you say you reach 70 archery, you, you toss away that bow, you, you reset to 50 archery, and then you gain the And okay, this is the way of doing that, unless you start, and I recommend starting with 50 archery, to not having to deal with this. And how do you train that? Well, the goal is you can train. The best way, in my opinion, the best way of doing that is like this you place a bow. Somewhere, somewhere you place a boat where they cannot find you. I mean, not here at Skara, this is just Skara. Okay, you stand on a boat. Okay, you cast the blade spirit. 
Okay, nice spirit. Go, Blaze Spirit. Blaze Spirit, shall you cast the spirit? We cast the Blaze Spirit. Okay. And if this is a new tune, casting Blaze Spirit will also gain you major if you start from it. So. And you equip the bow. And the good thing is that the Blaze Spirit uh, auto aggros you. So you start shooting at the Blaze Spirit. Blaze Spirits last for about one and a half minutes. And this is how you gain archery. Okay, you can sim have a simple macro like throw, an, throw a blade spirit in a specific tile every 90 seconds, and keep bow, and off you go. This is how I raise my three archers. No more, no less. There are some other ways of doing this. Okay, so for instance, there are places where you can train archery. Can I actually dispel this guy? There's places where you can train archery and do it make be sort of AFK. It can be, for instance, Shame Bandit. It can be, for instance, um, uh, where is that? Compassion Desert. So let's show let's show them those places. For instance, if you go here, let's go to Shame Bandit. What's the deal with Shame Bandit? Well, the deal with Shame Bandit is that you have NPCs there. Shame Arab. You should be able to place a boat here. Somebody is here, slimy corpse. Hmm, yeah, we'll investigate later. If he, if uh, if this guy was looted, yeah, I guess it's looted. And if I use forensic eval, I have a forensic eval in account. Forensic eval of this guy, it tells you who looted the corpse. Yeah, there is nobody here. But well, yeah, there was this guy here. Now he. He recalled away, I guess. He is farming here with Blaze Spirits. Interesting. This is actually interesting. I was doing this with Sally. He must have watched Sally. You know, he recalled away. So let's. Let, let, let. Okay. okay. Here was Belt. Belt, if you're watching, put a like. Okay, here you have NPCs. You, you, can, you, can, you can place a boat here. Not Flamson, what the heck? Yeah, what to do? Invisibility. You can place a boat there and shoot these NPCs. These NPCs will not reach you, even if they have archer here. Yeah, they, they really do minimal damage. There are other places. The trick is, you gotta find a place where mob cannot reach you and they have no range abilities. For instance, uh, Compassion Desert, you only have scorpions, you have spiders, you have, you have earth elementals and they will not reach you. Okay, they will not reach you. Let's grab some Let's go, let's go compassion desert. But these places, these places are somewhat camp, not camp, but watch, I mean, Air Elemental is a very, very hot spot because it's real big money. Uh, where is compassion desert? It's here, compassion, here, desert. This is the place where tamers start their taming activities. If you go here, just go here. You can shoot at stuff. So you can shoot at stuff here. Okay, they aggro you and you can shoot at stuff. Simple as. Yeah, eventually you will run out of uh, stuff here, or maybe you just attack closest gray, loop, macro, and that is it. I myself have done it with Blade Spirits, <coughs> but I've seen people doing it at Cyclops Valley on a boat. Not if okay, you gotta have, you gotta pay attention to, to, the, to the Titans. That's the only guy that can reach you there. Or sometimes Wimps. Or I've seen people doing it where that was at uh, Wyvern Island. There is also a Wyvern point in D2A that is very effective for doing it. So yeah, you, you have uh, Drakes there, you have Wyverns, mainly Wyverns. So. Here they used to be, this is the Orc, the, the orc Guild. Uh, there used to be, until Boone and Jenkins removed them, there used to be Ratman Archers here. I was, uh, I was also telling you that you can also do this on an NPC and doing it on an NPC is totally doable AFK but the problem doing it with an NPC is that it's, there's a high chance that you're gonna kill the NPC 
there's really high chance that you're gonna kill the NPC. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, joking. There's a high chance that you're gonna kill the NPC. You're gonna have an out killing the NPCs very, very, very frequently because these these archer hits can take the NPCs like 50%. Especially when you have high, high archery and high attacks. So I guess that we have covered every aspect of archery. It's not a very viable skill in this era. It's more of a role-playing skill in this era, unless you are using archer bots. Yeah, archer bots are kind of lame, but yeah, you can live with them. Oh no! Before I forget, I, I had to show you the video. One sec. Here we are with the video. It was during Halloween, trick or treat day. I was here with the stealther trying to investigate Zach, Arch Zach and Kirsha, Kirsha Archer bots, if they were actually uh, not AFK, I mean, at the PC. Because if they're not uh, at the PC, they're easy kills. And here is uh, Minox stables, those outside town, the only stables outside town. And, and and those archers are, are placed there in front of the castle on the foot on footstools to be able to, to reach players. And there was this guy, I can't remember the name, old man maybe it was. So here I try to Yeah, Sarah, okay, you see those bo archer bots? They have they may have ghoul touch, they may have charged weapon, and and they they aggro blues and they and they invis again. I don't know why there were, yeah, there was like eggs there, maybe to attract players, and boom, again. Yeah, this time they were not AFK, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it trick or treat in the house. So this is how you use Archer bots. They're slow, but if you're not expecting them, you, you can actually... If you're not expecting them, you can, you can actually be killed with them. So actually, this is it. This is really it for today's video. I think that art, having an archer, if you're a PvP or maybe you can have an archer bot or two archer bots, I don't know, maybe for your guild. If you're solo, you can have an archery as a role-playing role -playing skill, right? It's not really very viable. Not really very viable, but still fun. I, I have arch I have PK'd with archery for reaching people on the ledges, but yeah, it's not really... <laughs> was like three years ago when I started because I didn't know. I didn't know. But yeah, still a viable skill and an interesting skill in my opinion. Worth having. So this is it. Thanks for watching. And we have passed 200 subs. We are going like crazy. The channel is doing very good. We are attracting new players to second age. Second age is really the, the, the place to be. We have had a huge huge field fight the other day on Sunday we had 100 um, players online it's, there's people all over the place even here now recording this simple video I found somebody at Era Elementals Second Age is definitely the best place to be the only classic shard out there and you will never regret playing this shard so take care everybody I want to see you here I want to see you join Discord I want to see you interact with us join our PvP League Join our streaming, join everything. And until next time, Citizen of Britannia, love you all, but get out of here.